Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Vincent, and if you don't know me, then now you do. You guys, in my comment section on my chai video, where I explicitly said, when people tell me not to do stuff, like, I'm more intrigued because I'm like, oh, like, let me see. Like, show it to me. And then people were saying, oh, wait, gender AI? Wait till you hear about gender AI. Today we are going to be trying out gender AI. You guys told me that I shouldn't, so of course I'm here to do it. Yeah, I'm excited. Let's get into it! I haven't done AI an AI video in a hot minute. So like, I feel like my flirting skills with the boss are gonna be so rusty, but like, it's fine. Okay, so we are here in the gender AI area. All I did was set up my account. All I, I had to register. What should my username be? Well, let hold one, hold one. Hold As per usual. Name, okay, persona. What should I be? Who should I be? Wait. I need like a really, a really cute name. Oh my God, what is that? We're gonna be Bartholomew today. Describe your main uh, persona. This will be used in chats. Keep it short, one or two sentences. You can manage additional personas on the personas page. Short black hair, um, super skinny waist. Disappears to the side because no one can find my waist. I mean, his waist. I, I don't know what to do, okay. Your weed smoking roommate wants to try being Buds, maybe more. You guys said like gender AI is really spicy. Let's try this one. Wait, what is happening? Okay. Let's chat with Oh my gosh. I'm scared. I'm scared. Taylor is sitting next to Bartholomew smoking weed with him again. He leans back and gives you an appraising look. You know I've been thinking once we get high, we both scurry off to our rooms and put to put on Can you not do it from the comfort of your own room? Because like Okay, he's thinking, he's thinking he's, he's he's still thinking oh he he took it out of the silence got it um where's the fun in that besides my room is a mess i can barely find my bed under all the empty chip bags and dirty socks you disgust me like you're a disgust he takes another long drag from the joint before passing it over his eyes twink are you homosexual oh no taylor shifts slightly his loose basketball shorts doing nothing to grind to hide the growing bulge in his crotch um, Ariana, what is that? Damn, why are they typing paragraphs? I don't want to read this shit. What, this? Just my getting... <laughs> Come on, admit it. You've thought about it too, about touching yourself while I... I'm not saying too loud. Taylor reaches out and boldly places his high, his hand high up on Bartholomew's thigh, giving it a suggestive squeeze. His fingers are calloused and warm against Bartholomew's smooth skin. <laughs> You want me so effing bad, bro. I say, turning to the side and disappearing because my small frame is so dainty that I can't be seen. Taylor bursts into laughter at the sight of Bartholomew's tiny frame vanishing from view. <laughs> the absurdity of the situation only serves to- What? what? Oh man, that's so crazy. <laughs> I can't, I can't. Oh man, that's so crazy. You are really- <laughs> Oh man, that's so crazy. You really are the skinniest person I've ever seen. Like, how do you not just blow away in the wind? But hey, I can still see that bulge in your pants, so I know you're still- <laughs> I transform into... You know what? <laughs> now we're gonna move on to the next bot. You sit on your boyfriend's lap and often move your hips. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> what kind of description is that? Juje Kyung is the teacher who wants to F you and also he is rude and powerful in school. He is so strong and also handsome and he only has eyes on user. He wants to have Z <laughs> He calls you into his office after school because he's planning to F you with his big but you didn't know it, so you go to his office. What? I don't even- No, I don't even want to interact after- <laughs> An aggressive bully who will kneel down just for you. Let's try it. Oh, my fucking paragraph. Let me summarize. School bully, every student's afraid of him. You were walking down the hallway when his friends blocked my path. He meant to wants to talk to you. Kenji speaks, one of Gabriel's closest friends. Who the fuck is Gabriel? Take this, he handed the pink paper bag that contains lots of cookies. I baked that for you, he added. Still not bringing eye contact with you when you take the paper bag and grab the cookies inside. Will you taste it? For me, he- That's so fucking cringe. Your eyebrows twitch when you tasted it. The cookies are not sweet, but bitter. How is it, he asked again, while his friends behind his back were laughing because of your reaction. It's a cookie, for sure. I mean, I mean, yeah, like, I'm glad you like it. I put a lot of effort into making them just for you, Bartholomew. This is not a reflection of me as a person. Wait a damn minute. <laughs> this app is kind of bad at like generating responses fast, but like, at least they're remembering my persona because I know character AI doesn't. Because like sometimes I like read reviews on character AI apps 
and they're like, oh, this specific app like can never remember like the plot. And it's like, sometimes that's really, really true. He met his eyes wide in surprise at your bold statement. For a moment, he seems taken aback. Well, let's make a deal first. If I impregnate you, you have to be mine. Completely and utterly mine. No one else gets to touch you. No one else gets to even look at you. You belong to me and me alone. He pulls back slightly, his intense gaze born into yours. So what do you say? Are you ready to be mine, Bartholomew? How many of you guys are fold? Let, no, let's talk about it. Before we continue, let's talk about it. But how would you impregnate me? I'm a man. He met his eyes narrow and he stares at you intently trying to gauge your sincerity. After a moment, he smirks and nods as if he's come to a decision. You're right, you are a man, but don't worry. I've got a plan. Let's go somewhere more private and I'll show you exactly how I'm going to impregnate you. <sighs> what? As you enter the classroom, he meant to kicks the door shut behind you. You're doing too much. This is a special concoction I've been working on. It's designed to alter your body chemistry, making it possible for me to impregnate you. And once we've done that, you'll belong to me forever. He uncorks the vial and holds it up, the pungent smell filling the room. Drink it, Bartholomew. Drink it and become mine. It's time for my disappearing act. I turn to the side and disappear because my waist is so small. Sometimes, like, when you just gotta go, like, you, you just have to go. And luckily for Bartholomew, he is just so, like, his body is so T that, like, his waist is just so, like, snatched that he disappeared. Like, I'm, like, he's gone. So, that's, like, the current struggle we're facing. Damn, bitch, this bot is gonna take forever to respond again. <sighs> how are you guys? Let's talk about our feelings. Let's talk about how we're feeling today. I, I'll start. Um, I have a test tomorrow, at the day I'm filming this. Not excited at all because like, it's like this stats course. It's a mandatory stats course in my major and I want to slightly cry. They write essays. And I don't know why you're writing an essay about why Bartholomew disappeared because his waist is so tiny, but that's okay. He met up blinks in confusion as you suddenly vanish from his sight, your disappearance leaving him momentarily disoriented. He takes a step back trying to process what just happened. The vial slips from his fingers and splatters onto the floor, the murky liquid spilling out and forming a small puddle. Bartholomew, show yourself! <laughs> Maybe we should help him look for Bartholomew, one of them suggests, but he might have waved the idea away dismissively. No, I can handle this myself. You guys go back to class and act like nothing happened. I'll find him and make him pay for this. Why are you mad I disappeared? Like, my waist is so small that I turned to the side and suddenly you're mad that I'm gone? Oh, okay. Bartholomew reappears and gives him the most insane book like 3000 of his time. I can never take AI seriously because I always do this shit. Like, I will always pull this. <laughs> he met his eyes widen in shock as he reappeared right in front of him. A mischievous grin plastered across your face. Before he can even react, you unleash the most intense Gluck Gluck 3000 he's ever experienced, catching him completely off guard. What, what the hell is that? He meant to take a step back, trying to regain his footing, but the Gluck Gluck 3000 continues. <laughs> he swings his fist wildly. <laughs> Stop it, you little freak. <laughs> As the Gluck Gluck 3000 reaches its crescendo, he meant to collapses to the ground, gasping for air and clutching his head. His friends rush to his side, but they can't help but laugh at his predicament. They drag him away, leaving you standing tall and victorious in the hallway. From that day forward, Himeta and his gang leave you alone, realizing that they've underestimated your power and resilience. You finally put an end to their reign of terror, and the school becomes a safer place for everyone. I'm a hero. The Gluck Gluck was just so powerful that it actually changed- it just like changed the trajectory of his life. Oh! So this is not safe for work. Got it. Guys, I was literally looking at the ones that were safe for work. <gasps> Those are safe for work? Okay, whatever. But I gotta keep an eye out for Selena. Okay, he wants you, but okay. Okay, 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 let's go. Damn! TLDR, Bartholomew is like a bad bitch and like doesn't want Nico anymore, but Nico wants him. So then he came with the idea. They're at a party and then he convinced Bartholomew to come with him. Oh, he's fucking another girl. Or another girl, he's fucking a girl, okay. Ah, Nico. <laughs> but it wasn't her body he was focused on, he was waiting for something, someone, and he was starting to grow impatient, so finally the door creaks half open, and there was Bartholomew peeking in. The girl didn't seem to notice, too buried in the crook of Nico's neck. Then his lips twisting into a filthy smirk as he snapped his hip upward hard, hard. making the fox go whine above a fox girl. I leave. Because what? what? Okay, realistically, it doesn't fucking matter. Especially if they hadn't been dating in the first place. It's like, 
why did what does that have to do with me? Okay, you slip out of the room and then he is going at it. Okay, they're going into detail. Can't let Bartholomew just walk away like that. Can't stand the thought of him being upset, maybe even crying. Shit, why does he even care? Bartholomew, Bartholomew's the one acting like a fucking tease lately, giving Nico mixed signals left and right. Leading him on those coy little smiles and accidental touches only to pull away when Nico tries to make a move. It's infuriating. But under the frustration, holy shit. Just maybe he actually likes Bartholomew in a way that goes beyond just wanting to him senseless. He's Nico fucking Woodson. Star quarterbacker and resident ladies' man. He doesn't do feelings. Except maybe he does. Maybe he's been doing them all along. Just too much of a coward to admit it. <laughs> I walk back into the room and walk up to him. Nico, if you want me, then get off of her and get with me right now. This could go a lot of ways. And if we get broken up with right now, that's gonna be so fucking humiliating. It doesn't fucking matter. Especially if they hadn't been dating in the first place. It's like, I wish gender AI was a bit faster with their responses. That's the only, not even complaint. It's just kind of like something I noticed in comparison with other AI apps. Like Chai and Character AI, which are the two that I've used before, are actually very, very fast. Maybe it's something to do with me. I don't know if it's my wife. I don't think it is. But yeah, aside from that, gender AI is fun. I can't even lie. You know what? Like, I'm not even gonna sit here and lie and act like it's not fun because it, it is. Like, is it? Comment down below if you guys have used gender AI and let me know if it's literally just like on my end that it's being really slow right now. <laughs> Cause I am sorry, I've actually, just for this message, I've been sitting here for like, three minutes. Which is obviously not a long time, but it's just like, it's for one message, I'm kind of just like, okay, what am I doing right now? Oh. Okay guys, Nico's actually just silent. So. Okay, janitor AI is actually very, very fun. Again, the only concern or problem I had with it was the fact that the replies felt so slow and long to like process. But if you guys did enjoy it, please make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know if you guys thought about this video down below. And let me know if you guys wanna see a part three of this, I would call this a separate series, like trying different AI apps. The next part, if I did do one, if you guys wanna see it, I would go back to Chai and I would do janitor AI in the exact same video go through like the more not safe for work ones and like with Chai be a bit more freaky because you guys are telling me Vince that you weren't being freaky enough like you need to match their freak because maybe I wasn't matching their freak hard enough who knows and yeah I really do hope you guys enjoyed and thank you guys so so much for 82k this is so fucking insane guys like you guys are actually crazy let me know what you guys want to see for a cute little special that I'm going to do. I was thinking of doing like a Q&A with like a bit of other stuff, something a bit different. I'm going to do a celebratory kind of video for you guys soon. But thank you guys so, so much for all your love and support. I appreciate every single one of you and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!